Hello, welcome back. I want to congratulate all the Excel users you know, if you want to study in EBA. So this is the second video. This is a continuation of my previous video where I have showed you that how to evaluate the things when you clear the screen and when you make uh, the things if you change it and after changing how we can get the desired results. So if you evaluate you can see but if you see that if you are create clearing the screen these areas are not being cleared properly so the next step was when we evaluate i want to see that the areas contain c and d and the report will be automatically transferred to this so we can make a report on low scoring so don't want to do manually so if at all if you want to have these three are scoring low and i copy this i have to delete this and make the things so, so and so so i don't want to do that manual process so this is the reason of making the video so before continuing i want to make this screen as a clear one so i already have copied the uh, copied the code so what i will be doing i'm just pasting so this was for the low screen recording so i'm pasting here and i will be removing that a positive apostrophe is here so it will be like this and now when i clear the screen you can see it's looking clear because some other codes have been added so now if you see that if you have, this is a and if you, if you have an a and if you again you have an a plus or if you have again a c and again you have a and again you have a D and when you evaluate, if you're copying these one by one and removing this and copying this, it's going to be a hectic schedule for a long term. So we need such a code that only the small AS codes like these, these only these are copied here automatically without doing any manual work. So we need to write a code for that. So that is the what I'm going to show you in this video. So I'll be inserting a module and uh, the module name will be like no score report so you can press f4 and you can change this into low score and uh, report so you can start the coding and the same things like low score report We will start with dim. I will be closing this. And I will be closing this so we can have a better view. So the dim, I will give x as an integer. And dim tempo. So I am giving tempo because it is going to dry all around. Equals to 8. Now, why I am giving 8? Because my data is starting in this page from the row 8 so i'll be giving this as a 8 tempo as an integer so as an integer and tempo is equals to 8 now i'm going to say a for look for the x because i'm going to show you from this sheet from this sheet so it's starting from 7 so the for loop for x will be equal to 7 to 14. So you can see it's 7 to 14. So it will calculate the area and values from this area. Seven to fourteen. Now I'll write a if condition if sheets now I have to give a sheet name. So the sheet name is scores. So I want to have proper sheet. So I'll be taking this as a score and I'll be in double quotes. So it should be sheets. It's, it's not sheet, it will be sheet score dot so this dot cells. Open the parenthesis. 
x comma x is going to be 7 to 14 so 7 to 14 then the sheets from start from 1 2 3 4 5 5 comma 5 dot value equals to c or again into the, the same thing so i'll be copying this is equals to d D. then now what we have to do is we have to check what all things to be copied so if it is if this value is a c and d if you go and check if the value is a c and d we need to bring this into this area so the so the sheets i will be copying this control c and she sheets open parenthesis and double quotes low score report close the parenthesis dot cells dot temp so it will be starting from here so it will be if it is this it will from here temp so it will be tempo comma two so this is one this is going to be two dot value equals to sheets again we will be copying the same so So I don't want to type it as a copy, copy the same. So template sheets score dot cells. So it will be like uh, this sheets. This will be copied from the value here. So the value will be from here one two three. So it will be three. So it will copy here this one to this one, this one to this one, and so on. So it will be like three. So it will copy one by one. Now instead of typing all this again and again, I will be copying this. So we have totally to be copy one, two, three, four, five, five times. So I'll be copying this. One, two, three, four, five. So five times now I will be just changing the cell values. So low score report two. So this is this is going to be eight, two, three, four, five. So I'll be changing this to two. So this will be three. This will become four, five, and this is going to be six. So it will be like two, three, four, five, six. So it will be copying in this way. And the cells from x3 score x is equals to 7 to 14. 7 to 14 will be 1, 2, 3. I don't want serial numbers, so I'll be copying from here 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it will be like cells x in the column will be 3, 4, 5. Six seven dot value. So now I have to now it has to well, I add one to one, so it will be like so it have to go next automatically. So it will be like tempo. Let me copy this. Control C. Tempo equals to 
tempo plus one so automatically it will go to the next automatically and now i will be making an end if because now i started a if condition so i will make an end for the if condition end if. now i have a loop for loop so i have I should have a next x so i think this is correct so let's go and check this so low score report so I'll go and evaluate design a macro for low score report and we'll do okay so now you can see that the uh, formula is working fine so all the cds have been copied here so maths and uh, this other uh, special these are the things which special care should be taken for the students so if all are having the issues then uh, if all this are having issues then all should have appear on the screen so so if you evaluate this you can see all the headers and you can see all the all the data has been and it needs to be take special attention so I hope you got this clear and if you want to clear the screen we need to have one more formula written to this so the close there is the same one which we had and uh, the same thing you can copy again so for the clear screen let's do the project report So you can copy the same thing. Control C. Now we can make a new one. So clear underscore screen for L S R. So I'll be copying the same, but here the ranges will be different. So the range is will be starting uh, range f7 to f14 was the previous one so here it was f7 to f14 but here i want to clear the whole range so my range will start from b8 b8 to f16 so it will be till here so it will be like b B eight B eight to F sixteen F sixteen. So let's say then micro over here also. Okay, so now we can see this is evaluated and the clear screen is done. So thanks for watching this video and uh, I have to tell you that you should make uh, special attention when making video code and power query code. So this is where you got the errors. So I'll be making a next video on those on the if conditions in power query, VB and other formulas. So until then, please practice this and uh, if you have any doubts or any issues you can comment me and uh, please uh, uh, subscribe to my channel please hit the bell icon and please uh, share this video so this can be this data this knowledge can be shared from to a lot of people see you in the next video thank you